Hello everyone, it's me Ira and welcome back to my channel. So we have a new video today and this is one of my favorite um, videos that I usually watch aside from makeup and room tour. I really like the designer handbag collections and I decided to do my own versions and I've been watching a lot of YouTubers having their designer handbag collections in this past few years and every time I um, open my YouTube, I always check if there's a new uploads for uh, designer handbag collection because it is one of my guilty pleasures. Um, aside from makeup, of course, the designer handbag. If this isn't your cup of, cup of tea, then I guess you should skip this video because I don't want people telling me or bashing me about my collections. They are not so big. Uh, my Louis Vuittons are not so big. I'm building up my entire collection because um, I think they are one of uh, inve one of the best investment uh, aside uh, from you know accessories or yung mga alahas or houses I cannot afford that so I have only bags and it's my guilty pleasure sobrang favorite na favorite ko yung mga handbag collections and of course I buy them with my own money some of them my parents gave to me uh, as a gift uh, when a special occasion, graduation, birthday, binibigyan nila ako ng gift. Sometimes money, but uh, I save them. Pa tapos pag nakaipon na ako, then I'm gonna buy a uh, bag for myself. Because it's one of my favorite things to do. Yung mga designer handbags. So if you wanna know my Louis Vuitton collection, then please keep on watching. So the very first handbag that actually purchased, or very first designer handbag that I actually purchased with my own money, um, I got this from uh, Hong Kong, and I really want the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, but gusto ko the one that has strap. Before, kasi they don't have the bandolier, and thankfully, when they came up with the bandolier, I was in Hong Kong, so I have my very first handbag or designer handbag, and this is the Louis Vuitton. Um, Speedy 30 bandolier in monogram. So it comes with a strap. And I've, I have my, um, what do you call this? Yes, I have a what's in my bag. I will have the link in the information box. Shut up! Inga inga talaga ng pusa ko, no? Anyway, gusto kasi niya pumasok. And ayo kasi lang papasok. Kaya baka mamaya kalmut kalmutin nila yung mga bags. So ayan. I have a what's in my bag video. I will have the link in the information box for this one. So this is the Bandelier Speedy 30. I think Speedy 30 is a good size for my um, for my belt. So it comes with a strap. Ayan siya. Tapos nilagyan ko lang siya ng Twilly. And this Twilly, uh, I got this from Twilly PH only. And then I had stamped it with my initials. So I got this from Hong Kong. And before this bag it's around around fifty thousand, but now I don't know how much. I think sixty plus or seventy plus thousand. I really don't know how much that today this bag is. So ayan siya. And the only thing you need to do with this bag is you need to put base shaper, kasi it will sag. Plus you need a bag organizer inside because sobrang magulo. And I stuff my bag with a um, normal stuffing lang or mga papers or mga pillows, ganun din nagawa ko sa bag. So, ayan siya. So, this is the interior. I'm sure you have watched a lot of uh, reviews on this bag. So, since I really like the Speedy and I have my third bag. Actually, this is my third bag. My third purchase. The Speedy 30 in Azure and it does not have any strap so it's not a bandolier. So, this is how it looks like. I actually got this from my trip in Singapore because Singapore you you can have your tax free fund so much cheaper before but now I don't know how much this cost bag is so this is how it looks like wala pa siyang hot stamp so older vi oh, older version older version speedies because the new version they have yung ganitong area nila para naka puff but this one it's flat so I I, I have another twilly inside Tapos, sa zipper niya, ayan, meron din siyang mga pillows inside. So, this is how it looks like. Meron, ang bag shaper nito, I didn't bought the bag shaper itself that you can buy for around 500 to 1,000 pesos. I just made my own 
base shaper in siguro carton arat and then I cover it with a nice cover sheet lang ayon nila yung base shaper ko so speedy 30 in Azure next my handbag um I actually sabi ko kasi I'm only no need one designer handbag which is my speedy 30 bandolier and I will never buy it because it's way expensive and it's not for my lifestyle but one of my family when I use it when I, one of my family sabi sa akin fake ba yung bag mo parang ako huh I bought it with my own money tapos that time pa I cannot really afford it because kulang pa ako na around 10,000 pesos and I asked my mom to just add a little bit of 10,000 so I can buy my own, my very first bag which is the speedy 30 bandolier and then when I got it, I wore uh, I wore it with a family. And then sinabi niya sa akin, your bag is fake. Sabi ko, you think I cannot afford it? So this one, my second hand bag, that is the culprit why the entire Louis Vuitton craziness started. That's PD30. Siya ang may kasalanan ng lahat why I started collecting designer handbag. So again, my second hand bag, and I got this from Green Belt. Kasi sinabi niya fake yung bag ko. So, yeah. Anyway, this one. It's the very popular Never Pull. Never Pull? Never Pull. Ayan. In MM size monogram. This is the old version. Because the new version, they have the pouch. Which, why the price skyrocket to a very, very high price. Dahil sa small pouch na yun. But this one, this is the older version. I have my initials. Tapos, this is how it looks like inside. So, MM lang siya. Good for traveling. And when I wear it for traveling, sabi ko, I need, need bigger, bigger. Never full. So, I got this one. The GM size, which is in Ibin. Ayan. It has my initials. Initials just can be hot stamped in the green belt for free. You don't need to pay anything. So, with the red interior. This is a very good um, travel bag because you can put a lot of things. Ha. Meron ka ng hat, meron ka ng shoulder bag, meron ka pa ng hand carry, di ba? Bongga. So ayan. Sobrang laki nito. You can put a lot of things inside. But kung ayaw mo naman siyang sobrang ganyan, you can cinch the side of the bag. And unfortunately, this bag is not very good here in the Philippines. It will be very prone to snatchers and of course pickpockets kasi naka-open siya so this is my i don't know pang ilang bago na to so i have two never full the mm and the gm size another one is uh, another travel bag this one i got together with this pd30 in singapore eto siya it's the louis vuitton hampstead I don't know if GM or MM size neto, but I think it's GM. The largest size. And unfortunately, this is no longer available in the Louis Vuitton face out. You can only get them for a, uh, the, you know, mga consignment shop. So this is how it looks like. So meron siyang Louis Vuitton in front. The, the canvas is ebane and with a red interior. The interior is Parang velvet. Ayan. I also have another pillow inside. Meron zipper at the back and two pockets in front. And I really like this bag actually. I got this from Singapore. But unfortunately, this bag is not good for, you know, very heavy objects you put in your bag. Kasi... This one, I don't know if you can tell, this will happen to your bag. So, kapag sobrang bigat nung laman ng bag na to, this area here, dumidikit siya dito sa leather at nagkakos siya ng ganito. Ayan. I have there. And I'm so sad when I got this bag. I used them sa, I don't know why I used them. Sa Sentosa. And... I went inside the cave. Unfortunately, it scratched on my first time using them. My God, this one. But this what happened. Konti lang naman siya, but you know, it's... Sayang eh. I don't know if you can tell. Ayan siya. Ganyan na nangyari sa kanya. 
So, I'm so sad. Tapos, nakita ko pa yung ganito. Kasi I put a lot of things eh, when I travel. Kaya, I'm so sad that nangyari ito sa bag ko. Ayan. I got this from Singapore. This two over two. This two over here, I got from Green Belt and this one, the Speedy 30 Azure and this Hampstead. I got this from Singapore, Louis Vuitton. New floating Louis Vuitton. So, if I think if you're gonna buy your Louis Vuitton, first Louis Vuitton or any Louis Vuitton, I guess if you're in Singapore, buy in the floating Louis Vuitton. Sobrang ganda kasi doon. Cha good services for Filipinos. Doon kayo sa mga Filipinos because when I came inside, wala well, mapansin sa akin the yung foreigner na mga nasa mga SA doon. Nila ko pinapansin. And then that time, my mom me, my cousin, and my aunt, we are going to buy a Louis Vuitton. So, syempre, we're looking and asking for prices. And then, she, hindi niya kami pinapakilaman. So, thankfully, may Filipino na uh, biglang dumating. Tapos, kami, she, siya nag nag-entertain sa amin. And I'm really thankful for that. Kasi, syempre, di ba pagka nakakabenta sila, parang may, per may percent sila, whatever. So, nung marami kaming nabili, kasi syempre, apat kami that time, or five kami ata noon, umili kami, um, yung hindi pumapasin sa amin na SA na foreigner. As in, naka-epal na siya talaga. Parang, Ay, you, will, you like this? You like this? Dun na gano'n na siya. Pinakailaman na niya kami. Kasi nakita niya bumibili na talaga kami. So, it's a very bad thing in a designer uh, out, uh, designer store yung mga ganong tao. You will never know, ba? So, um, before I go to the last two, or last three, this bag here, this is my very last bag that I purchased from Louis Vuitton. Sabi ko, malas ba tong bag na to? When I got this, I never stopped buying Louis Vuitton anymore. So this is the... Ay, my God, I forgot the name. I will have the name na lang in the screen if I found the name. So it's a very small bag for party or, you know, going out lang naman, doing something. Ayan siya. So pwede siyang shoulder bag. You can put a shoulder bag or at the group of your arm. And you can also use them as a shoulder sling bag or body bag. So, ayan. Meron siyang sariling strap. I believe I did a unboxing video of this on my previous channel. So, this is my very last bag that I got from Louis Vuitton. Kaya, hindi ko alam kung magiging masaya ako na binili ko siya because it stopped me from buying any more Louis Vuitton. I don't know why. So, ayan siya. So, my last two bags are no longer from the Monograms and the Ibin. I have this one. Ito muna. Ayan. This is the Alma GM. I don't know the color. Fuchsia ata yung color nito. So, Brea. Tapos, ang kanyang leather is Epi Leather. They call this as Epi Leather. Kasi very, I think, scratch proof siya. And then they have a little bit of Louis Vuitton in front with four, um, four feet. <laughs> Hapat na ano. They call it four feet the way. Tapos they have a, this one for your keys. The keys are inside because it has a lock. Ayan yung lock niya. With silver hardware. And I have my initials hot stamp because I'm planning on not selling any of my bags. They are my prized possession and my guilty pleasure. And all of them have their own stories. Trust me, they have their own stories. I don't bag buy bags na walang story. Kasi gusto ko pagbibili ako ng bag special. When I see this bag, oh, I got this bag when I was sad or when I was happy during my birthday. Ganito, ganyan. Ganun ako bumili ng bag. Hindi ako bumili ng bag na napandaan lang ako. Ay, gusto ko na bumili nun. No. Pinag-iipunan ko siya and I save a lot. Plus, I make sure that it's a, in a special um, occasion or special memories. So, yeah. This one I got. I will not tell the story so I got this bag. But anyway, it has a Ayan. Parang fuchsia lining inside. Tapos mayroon din siyang pillow. The downside with this bag is it's very big. You cannot use them as a shoulder bag. It's a top handle bag. And it's very heavy. 
wala pa siyang laman, it's very heavy na. So this is how it looks like. The Twilly itself are not from Louis Vuitton, so they are from Twilly PH. So ayan. The back. I really seldom use this bag because it's too heavy. But you can put a lot of things inside. Kasi ang laki talaga niya. So in GM size. I don't think they are um, available anymore, yung GM. So the last bag that I'm gonna show to you, it's my favorite bag ever. And uh, this is the Louis Vuitton monogram in vernie leather in MM size. So, ayan siya. I think the color is fuchsia also. Pero, rose, hindi siya rose ballerine eh. Kasi rose ballerine, it's light pink eh. It looks like red, pero hindi pink talaga to. Hindi siya nabibigay ng justice ng kulay. Pero, sobrang ganda ng kulay na to. So, very delicate to. So, I stored them with, uh, with its dust bag. And, I don't let any leather touch this. Kasi, baka mag- peel off yung leather niya. So, ayan siya. And hot stuff at the back. May tissue pa kasi I keep them and then yung kanyang mga leather talagang nilalagyan ko ng covering. I got this on my birthday. I was asking for a Prada that time for my mom. And then hindi nyo nagustuhan yung sa Prada. And then when she saw this, sabi niya ito na lang. Mas maganda po. With a Ayan. Fuchsia din interior with hot stuff. With paper. So with a fuchsia inside. So this is the very first... Uh, this is my favorite favorite bag ever. Monogram vernie leather and then this one is epi leather. Magkaiba sila. So those are my Louis Vuitton collections. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. So if you wanna see my entire designer handbag let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again next time bye